ஹலோ ஒரு டிஸ் இஸ் பிரஷாந்த் வெல்கம் டு த சேனல் ஸோ இந்த ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் அ ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப் ஹவு டு டூ த ஏபிஎம் லேம் டேட்டஸ் இன்டிகிரேஷன் அண்ட் ஹவு டு லான்ச் த ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் டிவைஸ் ஃப்ரம் லேம் டேட்டஸ்ட் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் ஒன் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபார் தட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் திஸ் ஆப் ஓகே இ காமர்ஸ் ஆப் ஏபிகே ஸோ அண்ட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு ஷேர் திஸ் யூஆர் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸோ யூ கேன் டவுன்லோட் த சேம் ஆப் இஸ் இ காமர்ஸ் ஆப் இட்ஸ் ஃபார் ஓன்லி டெஸ்டிங் ஓகே அண்ட் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தட் வீட் அ lambda account lambda test account so i don't think so the fresher will get it but when you are working in a company you want to start a project you want to initiate on mobile automation means you can approach to your management it will get you easily okay so this is the lowest price compared to everyone and it's also sitting in my office okay so and when you getting an account you have two things you will get a username and access key so this is the one we want to use to to when you connecting the your, your code to the lambda test okay and let's start it with i'm going to get a new window okay so in the new window i'm going to get a new folder so the i'm right clicking and create a new folder i'm giving a name like apm lambda test stash youtube okay so now in the vs code i'm clicking on open and going to do- documents and opening uh, that folder i didn't do anything simply create a new folder and uh, click on the open folder and open this folder i'm going to give a name like android underscore setup dot py okay so this is a new file so for the, your viewing experience i'm going to maximize this little bit okay okay so two things you want to install okay first thing before that we want to verify we are in right python so how to verify right python shift command p in mac uh, shift control p in windows so in this you want to select the python select interpreter and select your suppose you have multiple python means select which python you want to use so i am selecting 3.9.6 so this is my python version i am using okay so because this is one system has and i'm going to click on a terminal click on new terminal i'm going to install first thing is pip3 selenium okay install selenium pip3 install so you don't need to worry i give you this commands in the description itself and uh, if you are using windows means you don't want to put a pip3 just put pip is enough okay i'm clicking on enter it's got installed then pip3 install apm iphone python iphone client so this two things we want to install and before that everything i am going to show you what version i am i am having pip3 show selenium so my current version is latest is 4.2.5 at up to today's point and next one is i am copying this one uh, pip3 show see this the apm client is 4.1.0 latest one this is the upgraded one okay okay so before that we will start it so i first of all i need a desired capabilities okay so what is this desired capability generally means so what are the device we need if what are the procurements have for the project so this thing lt options in this options i want to going to give couple of things first one is if this is a w3 school or not okay that means we are following that pattern or not okay so i'm giving true next one is flat form name okay so this flat form name is which flat form you think either android means android ios means ios okay next comma next one is i am going to give a device name so before that you want you guys want to understand about the device uh, name so we want to know what are the things as lambda is providing to us so i am going to show you in lambda we, before that we want to know what are the versions are available uh, what are the device what are the brands this is. suppose i am using samsung galaxy means i am going to explore that one today and what you want to do you want to upload your apk file in the app testing 
so you want to upload and when you upload you will get a app this icon okay so i'm going to give galaxy but galaxy has so many versions if you, anyone used means you know so i'm going to give a star so star means whatever available that time please take it because sometimes it will fail okay before suppose that uh, uh, that our device is not available okay platform version next one is platform version what is the version is this is uh, android version which we want to test so let us is 14 if you want to give any platform is fine okay next one is is real device is real mobile okay so i am giving so test like a real mobile okay next one this is the very important app so just now i told you app we want to copy this app id and we want to pass it or suppose i don't want the app id means you can simply keep your apk file in this local in the folder and you can give that file path with the name okay that's enough next one is i am going to give the build name what the build mean i am going to say like this is a apm test on e-commerce site okay okay next one the name so name is the project name something so i'm going to give this is android projects right this is android app okay so this is the decile capability right now we got it okay next one is i need a username and password username slash password so for the secret is purpose For the secret purpose, I, I I stored that both the values in the secret at py file. So I'm going to use it. Okay, from secret file import. There are two things. One is username. Another one is access key. So I have two variables that is I stored in secret at py. Okay, now both are set. Okay, now go and create the command URL. So command executor. I'm going to create this is you want to understand clearly f first one is https colon double slash first one is i want to pass the username then colon in the curl braces i want to pass the access key then at at mobile hyphen hub dot lamb lmb lambda test dot com slash wd slash hub so this is the url so i'm using lambda test i'm using this suppose you are using different uh, browser stack means you want to use the browser stack url but moreover everyone is similar only right now uh, two things one is i have the desired capabilities and i have the my command executor now ready okay before that you want to import from apm i want to import the web driver because web driver is the driver which used to open the browser or app okay i'm going to create a driver equal to web driver so if you have any knowledge on selenium means you can know it like chrome browser driver safari driver right now we are seeing remote because app okay in this first one is command executor already we have that value okay that is done next one is i want to pass the options for options we need another from apm apm dot options dot common common dot in this import apm options cool right right now we done it in this options i'm going to call this apm options this apm option i want to call the load capabilities in the load capabilities I want to pass my desired capabilities. So my all desired capabilities will send to where in the options. Okay. Once in this driver is like a driver is initiated. After that, what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit the driver. So this previous line is start the session and this will quit the session. All right. That's right. Right so how simple right i i told you all the simple stuff if you have any doubt also you can put in command i can next video i can cover that i'm just click, simply clicking on the run button
okay something is this is not allowed only at current plan okay something has we did a mistake we'll see where it is so see this in this i did a mistake it's a real mobile it is spelling error i'm going to run again this time again we getting the same error it's all i'm doing wrong <laughs> okay so this time we'll see there is no error so when you go and see this app means see this the testing has been started okay for the device and it is starting this testing step and it will provide you the exact video as well that's a good thing of lambda test okay so so there are two commands we ran first command is we started creating the session and next one is we stopped it like quitting it okay so i'm going to show this uh, like basically the uh, capabilities we shared right so couple sub come up the like few things it will uh, automatically lambda test will added based upon its request remaining things it follow the same thing like platform version platform name everything and see this video like right now we opened the video like the app just opened and every we got a quit okay so from tomorrow you don't need to worry like i don't have lambda test what can i do don't need to worry uh, don't think about the things which you not have okay simply see what are things i am teaching i in the each day i am going to tell you like how to write a script for finding the locators for like screen sharing uh, like hybrid automation uh, form filling clicking dragging image one uploading there are so many things in mobile whatever you doing in manually so uh, manual testing i'm going to do everything in automation okay so uh, keep see, see like see the all the videos what i'm sharing and learn it to the coding okay for the freshers you don't need to worry you just read it and this knowledge is enough for to get a job okay to the entire series i'm telling for some mobile automation tester for people who are already working so you just see the video and try to explore to your team to get this to Im implement the mobile automation in your project or suppose you want to migrate from other platform also lambda test was too good okay so thanks for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe and uh, share to your friends and tell me what are the good things or bad things about the videos i will change according to that thanks for watching